These three are the last out of the five Bangladeshis who were arrested at Hanwabara village recently. Two were deported last week. This man, when found by the immigration task force team, was ill and lying helpless on the floor of the house they were renting at the village. Today he wore his best clothes, sat upright, and was all smiles. He said he will never return to Papua New Guinea. His friend sitting next to him also said the same. However, this little man said he will return to the country. He said they have evidence that legal processes were followed to come into the country and start up small businesses. But the Immigration Task Force team is adamant that this discovery is a lead up to many human smuggling rackets throughout the country. Last Friday, nine Nepalese men were arrested at the Jackson's International Airport. They had illegal documents in possession. The task force team said these men had their documents processed at New Delhi, India, before entering the country. Meanwhile, the Nepal Embassy in Australia has raised concerns about its citizens today. The task force team advised them that the men have been denied entry into the country and have been detained here at the Boroko police station. Following our news story on Friday, two Nepalese nationals residing in Port Moresby fronted up at the Boroko police station. They will assist the task force team interpret for these nine men. The task force team is now investigating agents in Port Moresby. The task force team says it will not rest until these records are discovered. Meantime, the Foreign Affairs and Labor Ministries have assured us of a formal response to the whole issue sometime this week. Bernadette Effie, National MTV News.